Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jazz 84, and I'm here bringing you guys the playoff game of a Man Ultimate Team. It was a hell of a game, pretty much of a tight game. It was uh, pretty much balanced out between us. And by the way, this other guy that I'm facing, uh, he had Cam Newton, William Perry, the Fridge, the legend player. I'm, gu I'm guessing he has like around 98 overall or something. Uh, and he also had Larry Fitzgerald. Those are the only three that stand out from his team. I don't know about the others. The other ones didn't even stand out, and I was doing pretty much good with a running game and a passing game. And I will not spoil the ending. So if you guys want to see what happened at the end, look through the whole damn video. I'm not going to say any spoilers right now because it's just a great game. And uh, what happened at the end was pretty much shocking. And um, I don't know what to say. It's just, just watch the game. Uh, anyways. If you guys saw my previous video between uh, you know Chris Harris and Victor Cruz, you know if you guys you know that's my final roster, and um, you know from there I decided to play this game. And by the way, an interception right away in the first play on the defense. Yet again, I think that's my like the longest streak I ever have, like the interception right away in the first drive. I mean, if you guys go back into my past four games, watch the first drive. And you should be able to see that my corners just keep intercepting on the left side. It's just amazing. It's just incredible what's, what's been happening with me on defense. So uh, that pretty much led me up in offense. And I just did a streak with Dwayne Allen and pretty much made a touchdown right away. And, um, yeah, that was that was just pretty much incredible. And, um, you know, right away into defense, guys, uh, I do admit that there were several mistakes. Uh, there should have been turnovers all over the goddamn place. Now, right now, I'm going to tell you guys. There wasn't a few mistakes. There was many. There was twice the amount of whatever I did the previous games. Maybe add up all the games. And what should have happened, it was like around 10 or 12 freaking turnovers throughout the whole damn game. Just watch my defense. I'm the 49ers, by the way. Just watch my defense. It's just ridiculous how the game wasn't on my hands. Like I was doing so good on offense and yet so good on defense too, but... Damn, man. A lot of little miscues, man. Little miscues. It just pisses me off the how, how it just happened throughout the whole game. Like, it, it should have been intercepted. There was supposed to be, like, around five interceptions, I bet you. Like, watch this one right here. That one, he should have jumped in, but apparently he, like... There's a force field pushing me out or something. I mean, man, I went straight down. And look at this one. Another one. That one landed in his hands. I don't know how that one couldn't be an interception. As you can see, guys, that's already like around three interceptions drop or four in total. I mean, it should have been an end game right there, especially with Larry Fitzgerald. But I don't know what Larry Fitzgerald has. Apparently, he has like a, some kind of a special treatment. Like, for example, like De Deion Sanders of last year. Like, if you just lob it to him, he'll catch it. And also, like the 80 overall Jerry Rice, if you had him, you can just lob it to him and he'll catch it. He has that special treatment. And then what happened in the third quarter, guys? I ended up running the ball. If you guys saw the first half, I never had the ball because this guy, you know, was pretty much an offense. He wasted most of the first half, and I ended up scoring on the, on the first minute and on the last minute of the first quarter and, and the second quarter. So on third quarter, I started with the ball, and I ended, up, I ended up running the ball, and I was doing so good. And I was like, damn, you know, I should have just taken my time on the first half. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, yeah, I needed those quick scores anyways. Chris Ivory is still on the ball, you know, he's still doing pretty good. Doug Martin is still a beast, I mean, it was just incredible how much yards I was getting with these two guys. And then right there, guys, that goal line touchdown that I've been doing lately, if you guys have seen my past three games, I have done it. And it works like around 80% of the time. It's a touchdown guaranteed play. It is a touchdown guarantee. I'll show you to you guys. I'll do a breakdown on it like around tomorrow or in two days. I'll show it to you guys and uh, hopefully you guys like that play. I mean, it's a very special play and allows you to score right away. Unless the, the whole defense is blitzing on the other side. So uh, my opponent, all he did was pretty much that route where he uh, the receiver goes in and then straight up and then out. I forgot how the, what, the, what the name of the route is. But that's all he did. That's all he did. I should have left those purple zones. It's just that he would have snapped so fast that I couldn't just set up at all. So, um, so yeah, it was kind of a mess on my defense uh, part. Right there, I don't understand how it was touched. And I mean, he was out of the freaking goal line. Right here on the critical moments of 17 and 17. I ended up going 4th and 1 because on my next play, it was, it was just another, another pass. And right here, he ended up going into special teams. But I was like, all right, take advantage. X was open, but I pressed circle by accident. And Derek Decker actually caught the ball. And I was like, god damn, could have been an interception. Circle was wide open because I like when my freaking opponent runs. Man, 
it's just incredible. Nobody's fast on defense. If you guys look at every single play in in multiple uh, in Man Ultimate Team, no one's fast. Only Dominic Rogers can Marty. So right here, I ended up doing a field goal. I know what I should have done. Uh, I think I, I should have done. I should have ran the ball down the middle or something just to get close on the third down. But I ended up passing the ball and I ended up stepping outside. So I could have just ended the freaking game right there and then. But damn. So I want you guys to look at the next play after this one. You already know what the hell he's trying to do with Larry Fitzgerald right there. So in, the, in this next play, I don't even know who the hell catches it. Who the fuck is number 12? And uh, this happened. I lost in the last 16 seconds of the game. Freaking pathetic, guys. I should have... I should have blitzed that AJ Hawk guy in the middle. I mean, I, I played a dime, two men under. I should have blitzed the middle linebacker, and he would have been a little bit more disruptive. But um, yep, I ended up losing the first playoff game on the season one, and it was by a pathetic pass, man. So, anyways, guys, if you guys like the playoff game, make sure you leave a like. If you guys like a certain part of the video, make sure you leave a comment so I can know and see, you know, how I can analyze that play. So, if you guys want to see more Madden Ultimate Team, please subscribe for more, and um, I'll see you guys later.